everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. So the last episode, our Light Lance engaged the scout unit, managing to destroy them. But we did take some damage in the process. So that Light Lance is actually going to pull back and meet up with our supply convoy to get their mechs refit. The rest of us are pushing forward. Our Light Lances are going to bypass the main defenses, leaving them for the heavier lances moving up. There is a convoy moving off to the north, but at this point it's a little far for us to chase down, so we're just going to leave it alone. In the middle, an enemy scout lance moved forward and detected the second lance of our first static defense unit and moved straight in to engage them. Alright, here we are. So this is an assassinate mission against Ghost Bear. It's a one and a half skull assassinate. So this is the second lance of our urban mech unit. We've got uh, Metal Arc Lemon is as uh, piloting, piloting the Hollander and leading these guys. Uh, since I have no idea if they've got people up on cliffs. Can we actually get across here? We could if we had jump jets. A lot of our guys are ranged though. I wonder if we should uh... I think we're gonna have to push this way. I don't think a long range engagement is gonna work for us. So let's go this way. Um, so yeah we've got the uh, the Hollander. And I'll show you each of the mechs as you know as they engage. But um, we picked up a Shadow Hawk, and we've got a uh, the Kegel Adder here, which is like the stealth adder. Let's get up here. I read you, Commander. Moving All of our guys have got uh, Guardian ECM, making this unit minus two to detect on the map board, and the uh, the Kegel Adder's actually got stealth armor, so it makes it even harder to de to detect. We're probably going to have a secondary lance up here. I didn't check the map board. Uh, they detected us somehow. From somewhere. I'm thinking they've got an extra lance. Which is going to be bad for us. Orders. Waiting on you, Commander. Um, oh, that's interesting. Let's get this way. Pedal to the metal. Ah, I'm getting dizzy. What's up, boss? So this is our uh, arrow unit. Full speed, no target. I've elected to put it with this unit because it is artillery. It's nice to have that long range. Uh, Firepower. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but when it does land a shot, your order, it's actually really nice, you know. Copy that, Commander. Especially if we can get a direct fire sight. Now these guys don't have a lot of mines. Got it. No the Hollanders got three running. mine layers, and the um, the Clint has got one, I, I think, you. or uh, none. So it's just the Hollander. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. So we're going to use them to deny uh, the enemy area. Or if we get a grouping of light mechs, we'll use them on those. Or at least drop it right in front of them. Yeah, they got a lance up here. Well, that's the supporting lance. Where's the contact? Where is the contact? It's annoying because they could... Yeah, they're spotting me. Was that actually a hit or was that... I'm taking a pounding, Commander. How are you? Incubus, okay. What can I do for you? All right, whatever. We definitely need to close with these guys. So I was playing around with the uh, Shadowhawk loadout. Because when I got it, it actually had an Ultra 5 in it, which was nice. Okay, it's a Locust. I decided to put a rack, try it with a rack 2. And it just wasn't um, outputting the damage. So I put the Ultra 5 back in. It's a little warmer with the Ultra 5, but I did also play around with dropping an ERPPC in it as well. 
Okay, I'm gonna hold on to the mines, I think. Uh, let's go on this guy. Yeah. It's not gonna get any better till we get closer. Nope, that did not. Iceman here is pretty devastating up close. Sprinting. But is useless at long distance. Oh, you took the actual hit. You took the hit, but where? Another adder. Alright, that's the LRM 30 adder. 40. Really? Oh, it was a leg hit. That's bad news. Receiving you. Alright, let's get some of that ranged up here. If I go here, I don't think I can run down the other side. We're in a really bad spot. I started off in a really bad st spot. I wanted to kind of make it challenging. That's not even worth the shot. Especially when we might hit our own guys in the back. So we'll just hold off for now. We will be dropping a couple of arrow rounds on these guys though. At least on the try and get the adder. Thorn, okay. Not so bad. And the fifth one is, I don't know. LRM 10 though. You need me to hold still for you? We got at least three more turns until we're out of the water here. Arctic Cheetah. Commander. Okay, let's stay behind the hill. Copy that. Yeah, we got standard ammo in. Beautiful. Let's see if we can get... Oof. Wow, you have a better chance than the guy in the back. It's a side shot, that's why. Ah, we're just gonna fire here. Confirmed. We might land close. Nice! That's awesome! <laughs> More than I thought it would give us. I hope you sprinted. Did you? Nope. Waiting on you, Commander. Alright, we gotta get up there. Let's do this. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. Okay, we can't target you. But this guy's a threat. It's all the same. So we'll target the adder. And here it comes. Uh huh. Alright, we hit with one. One frag. It's fine. Here comes that stupid PPC. At least he's coming in closer. Alright, I missed this time. Okay, who needs... Commander? Okay, you can't target anybody. Skipper. So let's get you up. As far as you can go. God, this water is killing right, us. Let's move. Water is killing us! It's not bad. I mean, I could... We could go with the mines on this. I mean, they're probably going to come down to get us. Ooh, nice. Well, that's kind of a nice spread. My short range missiles are out. That'll help. That will help, and we left ourselves a path here so that we can get around to the to the main guy. Good to go. Okay, let's get here. Double time. We'll just stay behind the Clint. Clint's got a little more armor. <laughs> so I was hoping to get a better Clint. Like I got a Clint 2C, but it's essentially the same as. Uh, Essentially the same as the regular Clint, like the same hard points, the same everything, except it has an XL engine in it. Next time. See what you get. So really, all you're getting is the name. So you, that wasn't you. Where did our? Uh... Oh, there he is. 
Okay, so that did a lot of damage. All right. Yes, Commander. Happy with that. I'm happy with that. Let's get over here. Full speed, no target. They have better sensors on us too when we're in the water, so this is a real pain for me. All right, that's lousy. Let's go after this guy, because I got Inferno here, or Incendiary. We might get lucky on it. Let's dial this back to one, reduce the chance of jamming. Oh shit, I forgot they cleared the mines. God damn it, stupid. Oh, that was dumb. You know, I had a, I had a uh, ER large laser in that arm too. I should put that back. Ah, that was stupid. You know, I stripped all of the PPCs off of all of my mechs that had, like, for the uh, first static defense unit. Because we rely so heavily on mines. And then when I... Ooh, that was nice. Then when I built these guys... Um, yeah, I had, a, I had a large in this guy first, and then I replaced it with an ER large. Waiting for orders. Who do we can get a direct line of sight on here? That's the adder. Let's see if we can get a shot at him. 24. What's the guided? 30. We'll go with yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll go with the guided. On it. Nice one. Nice one. The 21's their boss. Alright. Who's up? Ready to rock. Right, we're just gonna walk it up, get our stability back. Copy that, Commander. I think we keep targeting the incubus. Gotta keep that we're gonna shut that PPC up for good here. Keeping him nice and him hot. Keeping Fire him it. nice and hot if we can. Ah crap. No love on that strike. The one thing this Lance is lacking though is targeting computers. The only mech that in here that's got a targeting computer is the uh the adder, the ice man's mech, ice man's mech. Orders. And drugs a new pilot too, so she's only got uh, gunnery two right now. On my way, double time. Was able to at least get a half decent advanced pilot. So once her gunnery goes back up, it'll be a or goes up, it'll be a little better here. This guy's not hot at all. Ah, uh, it's a little better chance to hit here, but I think we go after the adder. Switch back to standard. Just do a little damage on this guy. We might. You know what? Let's leave the incendiary. We might get lucky and connect on that torso. Firing. Ooh, the AC hit. It's nice. I hear you. Okay, you're doing fine. You can sprint. Pedal to the metal. At least we can get you out of the water next turn. All right, on this guy. Uh, yeah, we'll drop the barrage up there too. You betcha. Okay, I don't think it landed on him, but it's right beside him. Waiting for orders. <laughs> get the ice man up behind moving the clint. He'll be out of the water too. We'll sick him on the Locust, if the Locust is still standing after it goes to the mines here. It should be. At least we have half decent initiative. Ah, they are going to go after him. Okay. I wasn't sure if they were going to attempt to hit the Chaparral, Morning. if I, I exposed it a little bit, but... They did. All it would take is one good PPC shot from the Incubus and it'll be a problem. Ah, oh, shit, he's going after it too. Yeah, we'll back you up. We shall back you up. Yeah, I cleared those damn mines, man. I don't know whether they up the damage for the mines or not, but the past few milk runs I've run with these guys just to test them out. Um, I brought with me the um, 
the uh, Mortar 8 Urban Mech with the uh, Fast Cam Mines. And boy, do they rip the legs off of stuff. The Fast Cam Mortar ammo for a Mortar 8 is ridiculous. Like, it just claims light mechs like there's no tomorrow. Ready for orders. Alright. Affirmative. Let's skip behind here again. And we can drop another round on the adder, I think. Uh, yeah, we're going to go with the uh, standard round, though, because it splashes a little more. Engaging target. Nice. So I've been trying to pick up extra vehicles for these guys. Um, one of the ones I'm looking for is the Ares. Um, oops, shit. Ares uh, F F F FVS, I think it is. It's got a pair of LRM-15s and an ER large laser. Although the armor's not that great, it'd be nice to just have a mech like that, or a vehicle like that, that I can sit back with and just, like, do a lot of heavy direct fire. It's got, like, I think 116 on the front and 76 on each of the sides, so it's not too bad. Especially for the range of, of mech, like, uh, combat that these guys are going to be facing. These guys are mostly like, you know, between like one and a half and maybe two and a half skulls at the most. Once the pilots get a little better and I and I and I tweak the loadouts a bit, I can up that. But right now it's not uh, not viable to go any higher than two and a half. And the right two and a half mission, right? We want to make sure we get a good. Uh, not you. This guy. I want to make sure we get the right two and a half mission. Tell me what to do. Okay, we're hitting. Not getting the torso though. Even though it's wide open. So it looks like you're coming in for some fun. It's gonna be an issue. Iceman cometh. Not Double too bad. Time. Still a little bit unstable, but that's fine. We're going to leave the flamer off, I think. Drop a bit of heat. Fire at this guy. Wow, really? Okay. At least the pulses hit. He is within range, though, so maybe we just gangbang him and take him down. Although I think the griffin will shoot again at the adder. Because it's got the LRM. Hopefully we can just plink that torso. Okay, he's got a large. He's got a large. They've got a large. Everyone's got a large. Except for this guy. He's going to fire. Oh, okay. How'd the AMS do? Getting banged up real good here. Apparently not very well. Confirmed. Can we get you out of the water? We can, finally. Moving to full throttle. I'm not sure how much the water increases the uh Hmm. Increases the sensors. We're gonna go after this guy. Engaging target. Uh but I know Ooh, nice shot. I know it does uh Ooh, yes, beautiful. Standing by. I know it increases the ability to, um, uh, at least see your enemy. So I'm assuming it increases the targeting potential as well. Is that the only direct fire guy? It is. Alright, well, let's switch back to standard. Double this up. Let's fire on this guy. Tag landed. Yeah, I know. I fired the PPC again. That's fine. That's fine. Most of those mines are gone now anyway. You. Moving to position. All right. Thorny, thorn, thorn. Roger that. All right. Splash a bit of damage on him. Hell yeah. Getting on now. I had to pull one of my... my um, uh, higher level vehicle pilots from the first lance to put in the chaparral because 
it's really you, it's really useless unless you have a good pilot in there. That bad a chance, eh? All right, if it's going to be that bad, let's stay in the trees then. I was hoping to get a little better chance to hit by being in the open, but this guy's got the ER PPC. We got to go after him. Um, sure, we'll go with these as well. Maybe we get lucky. Roger that. Firing on target. Okay, we got a head hit. At least that's going to help stop him from hitting us. Where does he go? Well, he goes on 14 now, which means... Everybody but Drog's going to go before him, so we should be able to take him down this turn before he gets a chance to do much. Okay, that guy missed. Nice. I think Iceman should be able to get in here and hammer this guy. Once he gets close, it's going to be really bad for that guy. Oh, he's moving. Where is he? Moving forward? Wait, is that a second? Oh, that's the cheetah. Oh, I kept thinking that was right. Okay, fair enough. Well played. Somebody's coming back with some action. At least that's not the one with all the uh, micro lasers or whatever it is. Ten micro lasers. Orders. All right, we're going to walk it. Walk it. Location confirmed. But I think we should target this guy. Hopefully get him with an incendiary. Nice. Turn that heat up a little bit. Beautiful. Good to go. Iceman cometh. Ooh, that's really bad chance to hit. Well, no big deal. At least we'll get our stability back. Do I want to... No, I think we're fine. Tell me what to shoot. Wow. Still just the pulses, eh? Okay. Okay. Standing by. 22. Let's go out to the thorn again. Got lots of ammo. Oh! <laughs> Painful. This guy's been doing really well this this match. Normally the uh, the guided rounds just kind of always fall shorter or too far away, and the uh, the standard rounds usually just don't land close enough to do any kind of real damage. But this match, he's been doing really well. I ain't gonna say no to that. We can definitely use it. All right. Fair enough. I wonder what we're going to be up against at the end. It's got me worried because I'm expecting, like, let's go here. I'm expecting um, my way. probably something a little heavier with short-range weapons because otherwise we've been planked by stuff by now, I think. Uh, switch this around. Yep. On. Just make sure he's standing in fire. Okay, he's going on 22. So the main guy went first. I don't see him here anywhere. I hope it's something good. Alright, thanks for showing up. All right, Parrot. Um, right, Commander. We got to get the PPC. Got to get that PPC. So let's go after this guy. Got it. Man, the clink with only two hard points is is such a tough thing, and the Hollander has only got two hard points as well. One ballistic, one laser on both of them. 
So trying to find the right balance of weapons has been tough. I mean, I guess I could put an... I mean, I have another Ultra 5. Yes. But I need ammo. Yep. The one, that's the one thing I don't have is ammo for the Ultra 5s. Sure. We'll take this shot. Fire it. Waiting for orders. As far as I'm concerned, from what I've seen of melee so far in this game, anytime an enemy has way. tried to melee me, unless they kill my mech directly, it's pretty much just a suicide charge. And it's lately it's been very rare that they've been able to kill me in one shot. But it's just Honestly, it's just a suicide run. Commencing alpha strike. Like this guy Critical just died. Eight. You know what I mean? He went to he went to melee and uh, basically put himself unstable and then just let everybody kill him. Th that's why I'm still I I'm I'm not really that thrilled with the melee system in the game. I like the weapons, the idea of using a weapon. But the charging, the punching, and the kicking, I mean, it's okay, but I don't know. It's just not working for me. Yeah, I knew you friggin' cheap bastard. Light damage. Holding firm. Waiting for orders. Get to here. On the move. It's actually kind of a bad spot to be. Let's go for the kill on this guy, though. Um, yeah. Don't miss. Thank you. Okay, who's up? Hot dog. Can't quite get a... There we go. Roger that. Not the best place to be, but we're going to move here anyway. 33, we're going to do a, um, a guided... 46, actually, that's not bad. Taking the shot. Come on, land it, land it. Yes! Critical hit, Commander. Guys, just been doing so well this game. Waiting on you, Commander. Wait, when does the... This guy goes on 15? 19, okay, we're good. We are good. Coordinates received. Leave the barrage off. Goes the leg. Another hit like that. Well, I was really hoping for a couple of lances, but that's all right. Yeah, we can't all get the uh, the extra lance like we did in that last mission. Holy crap, that was a tough one. Commander, I was hoping for something similar though, but. Commander. What's up, buddy? Firing everything I've got. Critical hit. I wonder if I can trade out these pulses for something else. Although the chances I can at least they're do oh, that guy's dead. At least they're doing some damage. Confirm. Alright, let's finish Order this guy off. Let me go find the leader. Go find that leader. I got you. Goes to the right side. Come on, bail out, buddy. You got no weapons left. Reporting. Critical hit. Unless he's got one in the he might have one in the CT. Yes, Commander. Might have one in the CT. Confirmed. Not for long. Not for long. Shocked that the A Ultra hasn't uh, jammed. Let's just kill this guy. Enemy down. Standing by. Um. Yeah, let's move. The arrows got some uh, good range, but I'm gonna try and keep you by my main guys here. Ah, uh, you can somehow see me. 
I wonder if he's stuck on one of the islands here. Orders. I mean, we got some range, so. All right, let's move. Um, that might be okay. So. I think we got to go through the water here. On the move, full speed. Waiting for orders. Full speed sounds good. Uh huh. What can I do for you? So I think that is it the Shadow Hawk that I've got. That's going turbo. One of these guys has got a Beagle Active Probe. I think. I think. Not that it matters because we can't. Good to go. It's. I wonder if it's a stealth mech. Affirmative. You know what? I'm going to put him up on the hill here. Forget it. We're not going to be, uh... Where is this guy? It did say here, so uh, he might be stuck out there. He might just be walking Commander? back and forth. No mines? Perfect. Grow. So she'll be a lot better once we get her gunnery up. Double time, let's go. It'll be nice to be able to get some recoil reduction eventually too. I hear ya. Come on, buddy. Spot him for me. The metal. Spot him for me. Oh, there you are, you bastard. What is it? Incubus Saber. Oh, we got a shot on him. Doesn't have much armor. Primary target damage, Commander. All right, we got a shot on him here too. I'd love to be able to find half tons of uh, incendiary AC5 ammo, but I haven't been able. I, I don't think in any of my playthroughs I've been able to see that. Be nice to have it though. Orders. All right, buddy. Um. Where are you? Yeah, don't even bother moving. Let's go with the guided. Copy Might as that. well. We'll keep firing it until. Is he gonna land that shot? He fucking landed the shot. Solid connection on that one. <laughs> Somebody's getting MVP for this match. <laughs> I wonder. I don't know if they've got like a, a damage indicator, or like how much damage you pulled off during the match. Yep. But I'd l I think that guy's probably doing pretty close you. to top damage. It's not about the kills, it's about the amount of damage you do to the enemy. Ooh, that looked like a head hit to me, but I guess not. Receiving you. Um, let's go here. Stay in the open. Should be able to get the Ultra and the LRMs on this guy. Yep. And the Snub. Yeah, I think we take out the snub. I gotta work it. We take out the snub and put in a um, ER large with a pair of uh, heat sinks. I think. I think that's the way to go. What can I do for you? No need to tell me twice. All right, let's get the barrage on. I'd love to be able to kill this guy with the barrage. Time to die. Ooh, we got the tag on him. There's more where that came from. Yeah. Good to go. I think you can probably get your pulses on them. Not from here. Maybe Switching. next turn. Might be able to get down into here and get a shot at them, maybe. I don't know. Yes, come That's in. if uh, Hot Dog decides to uh, give you a shot at it. Come on, just kill him with this. I just, I love it. Aye, aye. Nope. Yeah, see what I mean? They landed right beside him, but did no splash. So the guided is okay if you get a good chance to hit. But if you don't, then it's like, eh. It's not going to splash him, so. You. Waiting for orders. I don't blame you. I can't get across that way anyway. I gotta go this way. Moving fast. Moving fast. Mm -hmm. I hear you. 
One good thing about this unit is that everybody's got uh, at least minimum of 5-8 movement. So even though they're like like mediums and stuff, they got some half decent movement. Orders. Monsieur Lemon. Ten four. Can't hide for long. Standing by. Moving to position. Can't hide for long. We got indirect. That's not gonna hit. Missed. Receiving you. Alright, let's switch back to uh, standard. Drop around on this guy. Engaging. Come on, hit him. <laughs> it's so good. Come on, kill him with the barrage. Nope, didn't take any damage. He was on the edge of it. I thought maybe he'd take something, but not today. He's coming back for a fight with no weapons, apparently. Does he have any weapons? Oh, he does. Commander? Can you get him, buddy? Oh, you can. Affirmative. You should be nice and cool when you fire everything. That's actually not bad. Well, at least those pulses are uh, consistent. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh huh. Close the distance slightly. Let's get a cluster shot in this guy. I've only got cluster ammo for the LBX. I don't have regular ammo, unfortunately. And I don't think I would switch back to slug. What the more? Huh? The way I see it is like. When you really need the slug ammo, you, like you're pretty much in close, because that's going to give you your best chance to hit anyway. And the cluster ammo only clusters after a certain distance, so it's going to be slug up close anyway, so you might as well just go with cluster. There you go. Ooh, that's brutal damage. See ya. Hope we can salvage that. I right, see what we get out of this. Mission successful. Okay, well we made 300 grand. Not really a lot. I don't, I don't really care. Like, it's just so easy to go on milk runs now. Oh, yeah, I also changed the uh, settings so that uh, we have to repair at the end of the battle. I had it on uh, free repair before, but it's not free repair anymore. So it'll give us some interesting uh, um, battle re results, I think. Because we can play matches back to back where we have damaged armor. Should I take the two incubus parts? ER mediums, we got one. I should take one as a backup, although there's two clan 20s right here. Active probe clan, I think we've got one. Yeah, we've got one still. I gotta take these for the sea bills. Clan pharaoh, we don't have any right now. I'm gonna throw that in. Clan double heat sinks. Oh, those are just regular double heat sinks. Interesting. And nothing else down here. Grab a heat sink kit, maybe. I don't know. Not a lot here. Although we did do a pretty good job of wrecking these guys, though. Small pulse laser clans. One ton for, like, what, 15 damage, though? Eight heat. I guess it's a good chance to hit. Well, let's go with the... Got one of these guys. Yeah, but see, I don't want to go with the... The PPCs are just bad news for the mines, so I got to keep those... Keep those away from my selection, I think. Uh, we've got one active probe already. Clan Endo, we've got one left over. 240. I was looking for a 200 core for the Clint. I got a 220 in there right now, so... Um, let's just grab this, I guess. All right, Arctic Cheetah Incubus. Yeah, a few parts that can go. Keep the 210 core. We've got what two of these? Yeah, so both of these can go. I can't change the cell value now. They put that in the in the um, in the uh, uh, settings list that you can't actually change. Uh, should I just sell this? I got clan sensors, so I don't need that. 
four. Don't need that. And I'm not going to need the doubles, I don't think. I got one already. Uh, let's just keep one of these. That'll give us some a nice buffer so I can jump around finding missions. All right. Uh, do I want the PPC? I think that's probably good. All right. So it's a little bit of repairs. No big deal. It says five days, but unless there's a mech that goes down, um, I'm not going to be stopping the moving forward in the battles and stuff. It'll just be uh, regular armor repair. Uh, the only time we're not going to be repairing the armor is if we got back-to-back -back fights. So, and I don't know if that, like, when or where that'll happen, but there's a possibility for back-to-back -back fights. So if we find, like, multiple units in one hex, you know, we might attack them and then they'll attack us back right after. So they'll take damage that way. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to leave this here. I think that's it. Something I wanted to cover. I think that's. I don't think I had anything else I wanted to talk about. Oh yeah. Uh, so our main uh, our main force now has eight urban mechs. So we're running with those with eight urbies, and then we've got urban tank, both of them, cloud buster, and we've got the uh, uh, LRM sixty carrier. So I mean this thing's okay. It isn't particularly great, but it's okay. Uh, I do have in storage now though. Uh, I picked up a couple of pieces of a uh, mortar carrier, three times mortar eight. I think this thing's got fast cam in it. And if it does, I'm actually thinking about um, breaking apart um, this guy, putting it in storage, and then um, assembling the mortar carrier instead. Because if it's got, I'm pretty sure it has fast cam, I gotta check into it. But if it's got fast cam on it, then um, it'll be a perfect, uh, perfect um, complement to the main lance. Uh, I want to see how high we can take these guys in a skull rating, like in a defensive mission. Uh, offense, it's lim it's really limited to, like depending, like, you know, two and a half, probably no problem. Three, probably do it. Four, or sorry, three and a half, eh, depending on the map and the enemy, maybe. Uh, four, once again, depending on the map and the enemy. But if we had that uh, the carrier with the three, with the uh, three mortar eights and fast cam ammo, then definitely fours are, are probably doable. Because um, we do have a lot of mine layers and, a, and, and half decent amounts of uh, mines. And we do have the one mech with, with the, this, I think it's this guy here, uh, with the fast cam. Yeah, this guy's got the uh, uh, mortar fast cam acid. So it, uh, this, this is just brutal. Like it's plus 50% damage dealt to armor. It does less to structure. But the thing is, when you use this thing and um, you lay the mines down, so it's got four mines to, for, per projectile, so it's like eight projectiles, so it's 32 mines that get laid, right? Uh, Einstein's, installs mines on hexes within 10 meters. It's actually larger than that, I think. But the trigger chance is 44% and does eight damage per mine. So it's like a massive, massive amounts of damage, especially the light mechs. So with this, and then what you do is you lay down uh, like regular mines as well, so that the acid, like like the area with the acid mines, strips the armor off, and then the other mines re like basically remove the legs. So like it's been doing like the acid uh, fast cam's been doing really well. So if I compare that with a mortar carrier, that'd be pretty cool. So um, but yeah, so that's what that's what's going to be coming up. But the next mission is actually we're switching over to the clan. Um, the Clan Light Lance, they're going to be taking on another mission up uh, up north, so we'll be doing that one next. I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comments down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.